Hey everyone, welcome to Brent's Hang. We have a question today from YouTube user Nick Sievers1. And Nick's question is How do I correctly use a pipe cutter and put the plug back in the pipe? Let's have a look at the pipe cutter that Gibraltar offers. This is the SCP cut. We designed it to use with our rack tubes. I wouldn't suggest uses, using this on an industrial grade steel, but. Um, this has a quick release function. You don't have to sit there and cinch this whole thing up all the time if you want to shorten the distance for the to fit the tube in right there. There's a quick release button that allows you to pop it back out or you can just push it all the way in. Then quick release it and expand it again. It comes with a, a secondary blade so if this one uh, gets dull you can swap it out very easily. Now to properly use this let's take a tube Tighten it down onto the actual tube a little bit. Now cinch it till you feel a little bit of tension. Now you take the tube and you just rotate it all the way around the tube. Rotate the pipe cutter all the way around the tube. And then you got to continually add a little bit more tension because it starts cutting a little bit of steel away each rotation. So once you feel it loosen up, just tighten it even more. And then finally, you'll end up with a um, a cut end just like this. Now as far as putting the plug back inside the cut end, because you're having to apply pressure and continuously tighten down the blade on the actual tube, it's bending the steel inwards so you will not be able to fit the cap right back on to the, to the freshly cut end. You're going to have to take a file and file down the inside of this lip. If you put your finger inside the tube you'll feel a lip. And as long as you file that down completely flush to the outside, the cap will fit on just perfectly.